Welcome to the latest this week's ACA podcast, sponsored by Skybet ACA Freeze. Tom, Jake and Jimmy with you to run through the schedule. Coming up on this episode then, it is, I think, the biggest price accumulator of the season with the fixture list looking a little tricky. Four teams back for success at around 24 to 1. And hey, if that's successful, we may well win something from Jimmy's Christmas giveaway. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel to ensure that you never miss an episode. And remember to keep it fun. Never bet more you can afford. This podcast is 18+. plus. Please gamble responsibly. It's another week then. It's another attempt to at an Acker. It's um, another loser. So what a great run of form. Jake's back in. Hello. Welcome back. Hello. Um, not sure if that's going to solve the problem, but you need to do something, <laughs> don't you? Not. It's basically just, you know, we're, we're in the Pep Guardiola era. We're not quite tearing our face apart. But, you know, when he, he had that thing in the Champions League where he could never quite win it, and then he'd just do something absolutely mad and just put a player playing a position that just isn't suited for them whatsoever, but there's like, oh, maybe in this passage of play, this will work. That's kind of the stage we're at at the moment. Last week... You were on it last week, weren't you, Jimmy? Yes, you were. Yeesh. What happened last week? It wasn't good, was it? Nah. And people aren't happy in the comments. I, I can't... Um, do we have one winner, one loser, one draw or something? Brentford won. Yeah, there's two, two defeats, weren't there? Yeah. Um, Exeter lost to... Exeter they, won. Exeter won. They beat Chesterfield and Walsall got spanked four at home. Um, yeah, so Joe suggested Walsall had to go. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a yeah, team that, effort. That is a drastic change that Duff Bam was on about. Uh, he's been kicked out of the business full stop uh, after that pick. Um, Get out of the business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, comments are mean, but I love it. I say, what's, uh, give us your top three favourites. Oh, uh, well done, lads. Don't give up your daytime job. That's terrible, well, this, this is, is this is the daytime job. This, this is, is yeah, scary industry secret behind the curtain. This is the full time job, so that's a worry. Uh, <laughs> um, carry on. Uh, this is truly dreadful. Another one said laughable, uh, and the best one was Mighty Flynn seven seven. Stop betting on farmers leagues, you grifters. It was the FA Cup and the Premier League. <laughs> 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 Those betting on your Akers fund your trips to Egypt. Yeah, I've never been to Egypt. Like, so he, you two I, haven't been to Egypt. I've ne- you've been to Egypt? I've been to Egypt, yeah, when I was a kid. Is it good? But I like him. How in Mighty Flynn's wildest dreams that the best, the, the money, all the money we're, we're stealing, the non existent <laughs> money that we're getting, we're pocketing by putting shit hackers up, that he's funding a trip to North Africa. Yeah. And also, we are still in profit for the ACA. So if we were, there he is. If we were oh, stealing money, we'd actually be making a loss yeah. based on the. Well, you've gone for logical. I'm going. Where the hell's this money that we're apparently? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This I'm is not, all hypothetical. I'm not seeing it. Yeah. So, you guys are getting paid. Yeah, so, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! I've got to, I've got to get out of here and go speak to someone because I'm not getting my cut in that case. Um, this week, the good news though is that we don't have the Farmers League of the FA Cup. Uh, we've got full fixture list is back. <laughs> Premier League uh, Championship as it was last week, but League One, League Two, of course, return. A lot of games to go at. It's a weird slate. I will kind of open with that in terms of there's not an awful lot of your shorter price home favourites. And those that are, they're kind of, some of them are a bit iffy. Some of you question as to why. I think the way we're going, it might be a slightly bigger price than usual just because of the nature of the slate is my guess. This isn't the Hail Mary throw on fourth down American football for you there <laughs> that we're going, oh my God, we need a winner. It's just the way it's worked out that just scrolling through, there's not an awful lot of teams here who are odds yeah. on to win the game. Yeah. Did you get that about? <laughs> uh, it was about this time last year we almost landed a 40 to one, weren't it? Was that yeah. the 50 to one? It was all winning in like the 88th minute, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was, yeah. It and was then it high. just collapsed. But what an 88 minutes that was, by the way. Yeah. And... Usually it's Joe saying, no, 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 we've got to do 10 to 1, but I don't see him here today. <laughs> He's left the business, don't remember? After his 4 0 uh, pick. I will start, actually, because I want to just. 60 to 1, 70 to 1, I can. Something like that sounds good, not yeah. real odds. Ugh. Ugh. It's 50s, 66s, or 80s. Oh. Yeah. No woke odds. <laughs> um, I'm going to start by actually just. I'm going to chuck in the shortest price, I think, of the entire slate by the look of it. Um. Having just said that we're going to go bigger, I just feel like I just want one in that we can all get behind. Aston Villa are 2-5 to five to beat Southampton. Oof. 
Um, and I didn't. I started to do my notes for this on Wednesday. Today's Thursday. I'll record day. I do it on Wednesday. A lot of them haven't changed. I had my eye on this one. Um, and Southampton have basically just done what Southampton have been doing all season. They played, of course, a quality side in Chelsea, but then Villa are another quality side who, granted, have been on a poor run of form, but at home, unbeaten in nine Premier League and Champions League games. Five of those have been wins. Southampton, my God, defensively, atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. I think they're on pace for 14 points this season is just how bad they've been. What's the lowest? The What's Derby's record? Derby got 11, 11 I think, it? in yeah. 2009. Um, miles away. Obviously, the more losses they get, the short, the smaller the average gets, the smaller the potential, maybe. I think it, it's worth caveating that you need to understand how awful you have to be to get 11 points. That record's never going. But Southampton might come close at current rate. Yeah, yeah. Um, Russell Martin's been true to himself. Oh, yeah, it's fine, though, because he's stuck to his principles, and that's principles. an honourable way to get 13 points in the Real season. Real Madrid will probably come in for him at end of the season, <laughs> since after Vincent Company broke football. I was curious about um, about it, and I'm, I'm sick of myself that I de- delved into some data. Oh, you yeah. delved into yeah. When I was looking at it last night, I was watching, I was like, how every time I watch Southampton, it seems like all the opposition are getting loads of chances. I will give them credit. They play well at Brighton. They did play well at Brighton on Friday night. They did have a good performance and they were unfortunate not to win that game. So I will put that out there. But more often than not, it is poor. Expected goals against, averaging 2.38 per game. Now I'm understanding that is awful. Next, Leicester, 2.06. There's a hell of a jump per game between those two sides. Two to five. Short price, but I imagine a lot of people are just going to, when they're putting Saturday morning, bam, 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 on their bet slip, Aston Villa are going to be there because Southampton defensively against this attack have shown that they cannot limit opponents in any way. Yeah, well, I mean, they can't limit opponents. They also just hand chances to their opponents, don't they, with... uh, Trying to play out from the back. Was it there was another one in midweek, wasn't there? Against yeah. Chelsea. Some, the some keeper point, just passed it to the Chelsea got, player. What is Lumley doing in the Premier League? If you've got your third choice keeper in goal, at some point you're going to go, right, let's not put pressure on him here. Let's, yeah, let's just get, get through it here because, you know, it is, again, it's the injury. They had loads of suspensions, didn't they, as well for that Chelsea yeah, yeah. game. But it's, it's just like, that's not a one-off, is it? It's not like a one-off special of, oh, usually they're very solid and they've conceded loads here. No. It's, yeah. Eight errors leading to goal. Uh, next best is five. Villa, coincidence. Eight in 14 games, so that's a pretty high average right there. It's two to five. It's a short price, but, I mean, it's a team in the Champions League against a team who, after we're on now on December the 5th, have five points at the bottom of the Premier League. And there's no suggestion at all. They're just doubling down every time. No, this is the way we play. This is the way we play. This way. We keep making errors. We keep doing this. And not to sound like you're da, just change it up, for God's sake. Like, you know Imagine that there's a hosting pair somewhere in the Middle East. It used to be on Sky Sports who are dissecting this point <laughs> constantly, and I don't think they'll have positives to say about it. What um, about, do you know? I think... Uh, Dick and Dom, isn't he? Dick and Dom. I love the way you try to quickly think Ant and Dick. No, no, they're too no, many. that's Dick still relevant. Dom, Dick and Dom. Dick and Dom. Uh, so that's the only thing. It is two to five, but I mean, come on. A lot of people are going to have Aston Villa in their weekend accumulation. You're not worried about Dibbling, Howard Bellis, and Flynn Downs coming back from suspension? Oh, jeez. Oh, no, yeah. can, you can, better be. Can that? Can that? Uh, does anyone know about Aaron Ramsdale's injury? Because that might change it for me. Is he anywhere near... I think he's out for a while, isn't he? Fucking hell. I think he's out for a while. <laughs> right, so, because Lumley's going to be in goal then. And then this was their back five against Chelsea. Manning, Walker-Peters at centre-back. Stevens, who got sent off, Ward and Bree. How that is a Premier League back six, I'll never know. So you've got Bazunu out until the new year. Ramsdale out until before Boxing Day. So 22nd of December. So yeah, it's going to be Lumley. I'm kind of thinking... Do I really want to get Villa on side at two to five? Um, well, honestly, then when you say it's a Champions League team against a team that could could uh, run the lowest points tally to the to the wire. But then it's to me, it, in my eyes, it's no different to saying, would you have Brighton at two to five at home to Southampton? I know they didn't, but in terms of <laughs> well, you know, when you're looking it up and stuff like that, you know that that clump of teams that are in around the top four mix, Tottenham as hilarious as they are, you would, you know, Chelsea, anyone kind of in that European kind of hunt, typically, I think I'd be all over them. I just... Yeah, Bright- Brighton went off at the same price. 
That's and obviously, yes, that, you know, the so game played out as it did. Do you think Villa are a better team than Brighton? If they are, then you've got a good value bet. I don't Even think... I, I don't price. think... I don't know if it's better, but they're certainly not as wild as maybe Brighton are, where Brighton have that style where Southampton could get a, a little bit of joy about it. Um, it's it's just the, the whole attack-defensive mismatch as well that at Villa Park, they've been really solid all season. Southampton just can't defend at all. There's injury issues there as well. Then as soon as one player comes back, another gets himself sent off and it's just like never ending for them at the moment. And yes, it's two to five, but you know, when you're talking about building an acker on what is a tricky slate, it just feels like one to get involved with. What do you think, Jake? I think I think we put them in as a start. Um I think if you look at Villa's home games uh, this season, I mean, they lost to Arsenal, should have won that game. Created loads of chances. Ryers made a couple of great saves. Watkins missed quite a few chances. Uh, draw with Man United. Man United just stunt the gaff out. Um, drew with Bournemouth. Bournemouth scored in the 93rd minute equaliser. Um, drew with Palace. And again, they created about three or, three or four expected goals in that game. And then midweek in Brentford. So yeah, you've got a strong Villa team. And I think a Villa team that will want to get back on the winning track now that the international breaks have, have kind of stopped kind of halted their um their momentum didn't it so yeah i, I think get this in at two to five and start building the acker get on with our life yeah, yeah. get on with our life. Right, let's do it then first pick of this week's acker it comes from the premier league and i think it's the shortest price probably on saturday slate aston villa for a home win over southampton second pick then we've got the short price one there in villa where do we want to go next um I think my favourite bet on the slate is Wrexham to go to Burton and get a win. They're nearly even money, which I was absolutely gobsmacked at. Burton are just a sorry state at the minute. Won once this season, 10 points from safety already. Um, which Twice. is Beat Peterborough. In the... Suck it. Wednesday. On Wednesday. Oh, yeah. 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 This has caught you out last night. Yeah, it's caught me out last night. Won twice, um, but they've lost... Well... Really, really poor at home. And I think the, the main reason I want to back Wrexham is because their away form on paper looks really bad. But actually, when you look and dig a little bit deeper, they've had a really, really difficult schedule um, on the road. So every team they've played, um, as uh, I think they've played at Bolton, who were in the playoffs last season, slowly climbing. Peterborough, who were generally an excellent home team, generally. Birmingham, who were third Until in the Burton league. Until Burton came to town. Yeah, until Burton. <laughs> just been brewing. Rotherham. Preseason second fabs, Stockport fifth, and they're excellent at home. So they've, they've already played those teams, and um, I think they should relish the opportunity to get a big away win. And I, I was surprised to see even money because I know, I know I'm not putting Wrexham in the same stature as Stockport or Birmingham because I don't think they're as good as those two teams. But I think if Birmingham were going to Burton, you'd be looking around one to three. Stockport, you're probably looking around the one to two, four to six ish. And I think Wrexham should be in around uh, four to five, 17 to 20. So I think they're nearly even money. It's just value to me. Um, I mean, yeah, in terms of the mismatch of the two sides, Wrexham been in pretty strong form as well. I think Stockport, that game you mentioned, the only one they've lost across the past few weeks. Thoughts on this, Jimmy? Yeah, all right. Have Burton, <laughs> yeah. 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 Burton got a manager yet? I don't think so. I don't think they have. Are they doing a, gone for the old Cardiff route and just interim and then just leave the interim in for ages? I think it's been about 10 weeks since they last had a permanent manager. Uh, game went the distance against Tamworth. Didn't it? Did it go all the way to Pence? Yeah, Tamworth, Tamworth beat them on penalties, yeah. Yeah. And then Tamworth draw Spurs as well, didn't Yeah, it? Tamworth got Spurs at home. Draw that. That's a big, oh, sorry, yeah, big that's a draw. Uh, was it? A... I'd say Burton, right? Uh, just looking down, uh, home results. Wickham won 3-2 there. Stockport have won 3-0. Barnsley won 2-1. Lincoln won 3-2. And then in away games at Reading, who are sixth, uh, about to lose Ruben Sellers. Uh, three to one, uh, three one, and Bolton two one there as well. So I mean, we can say that about basically anyone and whoever they're playing, they're they're largely doing. But then you look at Drew and Mansfield, who are tenth. Drew with Stevenage, who are fourteenth. Rotherham draw, Crawley draw, Northampton draw, beat Shrewsbury, uh, and Peterborough fifteenth. How the hell did that happen? So in terms of where their points are coming from, while they have started to get more points, to their credit, they have kind of made the most of the fixture list that have come their way. And in terms of still playing the top teams, as we've seen the other week when they played Stockport, it's ending in defeat. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? Or Rexham I mean, will be buoyed by that late winner against Barnsley in midweek. Oh, they? yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what they want to perform for. I'll tell you they really want to perform for. Ender Vita? 
Yes. Yeah. Danny DeVito and those lads in LA, is it? Yeah. Is it LA? This bar. Have you seen this? This is incredible. It's, <sighs> it's not incredible. It, there's the element of right. discussing whether they should be showing Skybet League One football in there. But you've seen it for Premier League games. I think they've done some NFL games and stuff like that in there. Is it like the VR almost? It's like a, a huge yeah, cinema. It's like a massive wrap around yeah. Yeah. thing. And then it's, yeah, it's absolutely. They're doing that incredible. for Wrexham matches. Danny DeVito was there. So, yeah, it's wow. got to be a biggie, wasn't there? He's high fiving people, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. And when you go on the TV sections of, you know, stuff, Wrexham games always appear, you know, on like the global worldwide thing. It's just like, oh, and then, and then all these are major. American networks are taking Wrexham games. Brilliant. Um, so obviously they've got the support of a nation behind them as well, Wrexham. I think we've talked ourselves into taking this yeah. as a second pick. Yeah. There we go. Why then. not? All right, then. Joining Aston Villa uh, to beat Southampton in the Premier League, the second selection from this week's Acker. It comes from Skybet League One. It's Wrexham for an away win at Burton. Before we move on, make sure you click like and subscribe and also click on that notification bell to be notified of all of our latest videos. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. We're around 17 to 10 on the double that we spoke about there. Jimmy, let's... Oh, just leave it there? Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> well, it, yeah. It's, it's, only, sp- it's only one selection too many. like a man that knows the, uh, <laughs> knows the department Christmas dues tonight and the quicker we get done here, the quicker we can finish, the quicker we can get to the pub. Um, 17 to 10, Jimmy, hit us with a selection because I'm not leaving it there. Right. 11 to 5, will that do you? Crawley at home to Stevenage. Oh, my God. Oh, the oh, games we yeah. could go for. What is this? Yeah, and to the untrained eye, maybe someone who doesn't follow Crawley you think what the hell is he doing but Rob Elliott has turned them around quietly well he went under my radar 11 games 12 points didn't win any of the first four but the last seven won three I think they've only lost one Lincoln dicked him 3-0 Rotherham beat him 1-0 Huddersfield drew 2-2 but Jake you're like this I looked at the XG per shot maps on Sporting Life great website isn't it good plug in excellent data now and they're limiting these big boys to very little. Huddersfield average 0.13 shots per uh, XG per shot. One big chance. Similar figure for Rotherham. One big chance. Lincoln, even less. Uh, they had one massive chance, but uh, Crowley just picked him off on the counter. But the real sweet spot about this is Stevenage. Because you know Steve Evans, he leaves, it's just like a graveyard. The squads he leaves behind are terrible for someone. And although Ravel made a good start, it's catching up with him. And away from home, they create fuck all, like <laughs> nothing. Uh, seven games, one win, three goals. XG of 5.12 in seven games. They're averaging 11 shots, well, just under 12. But they've only had three shots over 0.3 of an XG. So it's like next to nothing they're creating. Nothing. And you, is, that, oh, is that the yeah. end? Oh, right. I, thought I you... like that usually, you know, there's a little inflection of I finished my point, but that was just the brute ending of it. And you know what I hate the most? Yeah, as soon did. as he said it, I thought, oh, I'm sick of Jimmy coming in and just saying ridiculous things. <laughs> and I, I, I like it. <laughs> and I hate myself for liking it. <laughs> Somebody back Charlton as well in midweek. So I thought, oh, at home, you know, it's different. Now Crawley are the home side here. I don't know. If you said price this game up, I generally would just go thirteen to eight either way, please, and then just you. you know thirteen to eight, make the draw, uh, eleven to five or something, and just move on with life. Um, yeah, Stevenage won two 0 in midweek as well, but Tom Eves got sent off for Northampton twenty eighth minute, and Stevenage couldn't break him down until the eighty ninth minute, and then they scored another on the counter. Like this is do you know what style they're playing now? Uh, they're playing beep bop boop skip little beep bop because <laughs> uh, obviously last season it was possession based is keep the ball down and that would concern me against Stephen you're a bit of a bit brutes a bit rough and ready yeah. they can play whichever way they want because I can't see Stephen Edge making creating any chances they um, can't create chances if you don't have the ball exactly there's also that factor um, yeah but you can't have 0% possession is it? Yeah, you can <laughs> <That's> <laughs> no, they'll try you try your best um, I, I like the pitch I really do. I think you've got a uh, a value bet there. That is for certain. Um, I mean, if you look, they went off. Stop trying to look for excuses. I'm I'm not looking in. Right, so. yes. Do it now. So Crawley were 23 to 10 to beat Lincoln when they did in the league. Thank you, yeah. Uh, 
They were four to one to beat Huddersfield, of which they drew two two. Uh, Rotherham, they were nine to four to win Rotherham. the game, uh, and then again they played Lincoln in the FA Cup, which I, I know it's That's the FA Cup, so you can't look at that. But they were sixteen to five to win that game, and yet what you're talking about here, eleven to five best price. They're just seemingly not getting any shorter, despite the fact that their home form's actually been quite good. And when I say they, they've gone under the radar with Rob Elliott, like they they have because he started and they were crap. They were crap at they start. Got beat, they got beat crap heavily by Shrewsbury, over. didn't they? I remember yeah. that. That was, but then that was like he'd only been there. That was like early into yeah. his spell, wasn't it? He's starting to work his magic. He is. Right, There's a feel like... good factor around the place. And the fact as well, there, if... oh, well, maybe. <laughs> I've been to Crawley. I watched uh, Grimsby Town versus Crawley. I'm going to say 2018. <sighs> bloody hell, six uh, years ago that now. I know, bloody, we're getting uh, old, aren't we? We're getting old, aren't we? Yeah, I think Crawley. Yeah, we're getting old now, cock. Crawley yeah. won. I mean, if you look as well, you talk about the limited chances there, but they scored three in that FA Cup game against uh, Lincoln. They scored game two crackers. against Charlton. Uh, home games as well. Huddersfield scored two. Lincoln scored three. And yes, they lost 5-3 to Shrewsbury, but they still scored three. And if you're saying Stevenage can't create, yeah, then well, Crawley can... May I remind you that uh, Stevenage needed penalties to beat step-free Geisley in the FA Cup. This is the calibre of side we're dealing with. <laughs> like they are all they're down on they're just down on confidence they can't create out and you've got to blame Steve Evans for that <sighs> stop stop I'll... not let it in just get it in no, I... Jake's scrambling he's looking no, I'm at just XG. looking I... you've got all the XG you need right I... here, it's a lot about I... Stevenage there but not about Crawley's I have I told you told you uh, he started the, start the pitch the by saying that Rob Elliott's gone under the radar. Yes, they had he's, their he's, spine. he's missed the fact where they've they've scored these goals in in the home league games, but they've actually done that off very like small chances. They're not creating a lot of big chances themselves. I disagree. I disagree. That's what the data says here. Yeah, I know, but I've I've got questions <laughs> yeah, about data. <laughs> I no, know you do. I have. I, I have, and it's genuine. Like going to watch a few games, and you see a chance, and they give it like zero point one of an xg, and it's like a one on one. Yeah, that's thinking. wrong. Yeah, yeah, obviously. that's wrong. Yeah, the data doesn't apply here because now it goes against the argument. Yeah, I think false the, data. I tell you what, I tell you what the really, with the Stevenage. Side. I tell you what, they are really accurate. The bloke who does the Stevenage data nailed on everything. Yeah. Oh, he's <laughs> never seen more accurate data. He's a man life. who knows his way around the XG. Well, I'm feeling that Tom is leaning towards it. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. I'll I be hate. I hate. To I it. hate the fact I like it because yeah. I shouldn't like it, and I'm actually leaning towards punting. You know. On the basis, I think what I will say: any other week, any week where you're having your usual multi- leagues have multiple home favourites or whatever, and you can great, you can kind of pick through them. I'd be a bit like, no, there's there's other options we can go to. And while I have a uh, still a number of picks that we could go for on a week like this, if there's a time to do it, then it just feels like it's now 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 is the one because it is a, a fairly tricky slate. And the argument, I will say, and I never thought I'd say this about Jimmy. Jimmy's argument's quite logical and sound. No, it's almost like you actually did some work and research yesterday. We'd had no idea what you were fucking doing. Say it now. You know what? As a reward, you can have it. As a reward. Do you remember... This is your reward when you turn up and do the work. Get the rewards for Jimmy. Jimmy mentioned it at the start when we nearly won the 50 to 1 last year and we had Cheltenham in at a similar kind of price, which made the major price huge. So maybe this could be the Cheltenham. They were 1 nil up with 10 men for about 88 minutes and then... There you go. Then. I mean, hopefully, we get them. They actually hold on this time. But yeah, I, I like the pitch and credit Jim. That's um, some good research. And he actually used data, mate. Well done. Man does job. Yeah, I hate data, but we'll take it. Uh, third pick then of this week's Acker joining Aston Villa and Wrexham. It is also from Skybet League One. It's Crawley for a home win over Stevenage. Price-wise, then, those three picks we have so far, seven and a half to one. Nice. Um, Crawley really have bumped up the price, as you'd expect. Oh, yeah. Can settle on four, maybe five. We'll see how we go. Free reign, do what we want. Um, where, who would like to go next? Who's got one that we can get? Uh, well, I, I kind of know that Jimmy actually likes this as well, and I wasn't sure if he would, but MK Dons at oh. Arrow. Uh, 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 oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, and, whoa, whoa, and, whoa, whoa. Band word, band word on this. Settle down a sec, Duff, man. It's all right. 
I knew we'd get all skitty. Yeah, and yeah, no. and two word. to one, and I can't understand why they're such a big price. They're the hottest team in the league since Lindsay so took hot over. Right now. Seven wins, one draw, one defeat, won six straight, including three straight away. They scored 11 in those away games against Harrogate, Morecambe, Grimsby. Barrow are around that kind of level, unfortunately. 13th in the current table, second yep. bottom of the 10-game form table as well, so they are bang out of form, won just yep. one of the last 10. Winless in four at home, lost to Morecambe, lost to Wimbledon. Fine margin football has caught up with them, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and across the last eight league games in terms of XG, Barrow rank as the fourth worst team, MK Dongs rank as the fourth best team. And across the last four league games, Barrow rank bottom of that XG table. So two teams in contrasting forms. Um, and ultimately, you've got one team that don't create a lot of chances and one team that just can't stop creating at the moment. And MK Dons are two to one. We are talking about title chasing MK Dons at two to one to beat Barrow. Why are they two to one? I have no, no idea. Sense. It makes no idea. This is why sense. I want to know. Well, this I can is makes shed me some suspicious. Light on that, Wimbledon went off shorter at uh, Barrow. That's who they're playing, isn't it? Barrow. Wimbledon went off shorter. Donny went off shorter. Donny went off. Look at Donny's price, according to Odds Portal, almost a point shorter. Both of them won. Notts County also went off a touch shorter. They drew. This is all recently, and you touched on it, Barrow's record, like, they've played teams above them, which, because they're 13th, it's nice, it works out with top oh, half teams, yeah. yeah, really nice, really nice how that's worked out, I was buzzing when I saw that, <laughs> but they've won three of nine games, and you think, hmm, a third, they're picking up points in a third against top half, I don't know if I want to go against them, Crew was one of the wins, match day one. Port Vale was one of the wins. <laughs> Please say Third no team, game. Jimmy. Uh. And then Grimsby, they beat them in mid-September. I think that was at Grimsby. We know Grimsby are a better away team, aren't they, Tom? They are indeed. Don't like it at their own patch in Cleethorpe. So, yep, I'm all over this one. I'm all over it. See, the thing is, I had in my head that MK Dons screwed us over multiple times. They still have. It was only once, wasn't it? Was it the first uh, day opening week? weekend at Acker, uh, they lost to Bradford. Uh, they then drew as part of a five-fold, but then uh, three teams drew that week. And then on November the 9th, we had them to beat Swindon, of which they did. Uh, hey! I had in my head that they they haven't, but they, they clearly have won. Uh, Chestfield against Accrington was the game that let us down there. So I maybe they're not banned, <laughs> as I originally thought. Withdraw. Um, let me double check that they did definitely beat Swindon that day. Um, and having seen how passionate you two are about it, who am I to deny democracy? They did. They won 3 1. And the XG big number of theirs is bigger than Swindon. So I'm reliably informed that's good. They came from 1 0 down in the first minute to win 3 1. 2 to 1, did you say? Yeah. Yep. It's a massive price. Mahoosive. Huge. Massive. Do you, we we have it. I think it doesn't matter what I say here, does it? It's completely <laughs> irrelevant. <laughs> uh, we have four teams. Are we happy to settle on that? Well, it's I, I think four. Yeah, I yeah. say that was the big reveal, Jimmy. But we'll go for it. <laughs> uh, above uh, around twenty-four to one, those picks. Yeah. Do you just want to settle on that and don't overcomplicate it? Oh, Even though I've got others. I don't know. <laughs> we could put in like an even money shot in, for example, and we'd probably get it boosted 50 to, to 50 one, to yeah. one. I, I, let's just, you know, you know, we're 1-0 up here. Let's not go for the jugular. Let's, you know. <laughs> we're not 1-0 up. We're getting battered. We yeah, need something yeah. drastic. I'm saying in terms of it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I am happy to just leave it at that. Even though there are other ones. Do you just, what, what other ones did we have just in case? Because I'll throw out, my list was I had Brentford to beat Newcastle, yeah, we had Brentford, 19 to yeah. 10. Me too. Uh, Millwall to beat Coventry. F mm. Sorry, sorry. Frank oh, Lampard's oh, Coventry sorry. City. Sorry, everybody. Uh, 8 to 5. Grimsby, who we just talked about there, away at Morecambe, 13 to 8. Fleetwood, who shortened, despite the fact they lost to Doncaster, uh, to beat Swindon. Ian Holloway's Swindon, awful side. Um, and Stockport to beat Exeter at 4 to 6 were my other ones. Uh, Stock, Stockport, Wickham, Birmingham at Barnsley, um, Plymouth eight to five at home to Oxford. We know what they're like. Home, home and away. Home and away. Yeah, I can't do that. Uh, and then yeah, Grimsby as well. They were the other ones. Stockport and uh, Brentford as well for me. So if you put Brentford in, if we oh no, hypothetically, if we put Brentford in there, seventy we to one. Could you pay for Christmas? Yeah. We could pay for Christmas now. 
<laughs> Christmas is sliding scale of what you make it. I don't know about you, but I want to go to Egypt, pal. <laughs> 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 All right, then let's put a fold. Let's put losers in. Let's put yeah, losers yeah, yeah. in. Um, I, I, let's settle on the four. I said let's settle on the four that we have there. Happy? Yep. Fine. This week's hacker then, I um, just talk about yourself on a quick scan, is the is the biggest price hacker of the season, just given the nature of the fixture list uh, that we have. We have then Aston Villa to beat Southampton. We've got Wrexham to beat Burton, Crawley to beat Stevenage, and then in Skybet League 2, it is MK Dons to beat Barrow. As I said before, that is around 24 to 1. Remember to keep it fun. Never bet more you can afford and please gamble responsibly. Get in touch with us on social media. For God's sake, Jimmy's checking these every Ooh. single day. Yeah, can I just Ooh. intervene there quickly? Yes, you can. Because um, with a lot of the comments at the minute are saying, I can do better myself. And I would like to see more people putting their hackers in the YouTube comments before the games kick off. That's a good shout, that. I would like yeah. to see it. You know, yeah. you can do better yourself. Talk the talk, walk the walk. You Come on. Yeah. Go on. And maybe I'll, if it wins, I'll give out, I'll, personally, I'll give you a little present. It'll give you a, a, your so airfare to Egypt, yeah. Trip to Egypt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I want to it's see more Jimmy's hackers. Sign shit. Yeah. <laughs> Not me. Jimmy. <laughs> Not my no, sign. He's got to prime. I've got a two quid t <laughs> No, it's not my like sign. JTP. Yeah. Football shirt. You can have a signed one of my shirts if you want, or unwashed pants, whatever you want. <laughs> Jimmy's Christmas it's, giveaway. It's, That's what this will be. If you can land a winning hacker, he might sort something out. And I'm going to use might as some legal thing because I imagine. Well, it's nothing to do with sport in life. It's it's me and it. Your so. personal. But Jimmy, actually, you should put a few caveats on there because someone might just pick three, like one to three shots, and say, "Look, I've had a winning act." Well, is a chat? Do what companies you got a chance, chance of winning. Yeah, do whatever you want, but obviously, we're we're trying to do a ten to one three o'clock kickoffs on a Saturday. So if you want to play by them rules, go for it. That's what we're doing. There you go. Let us know then. YouTube comments, uh, Spot of Life, uh, football, social media. You'll be able to find us that way. Let us know your hackers, what you think of our picks Jimmy's as pants. well. And you could win a signed Jimmy the Punch shirt. <laughs> Not <Lovely>. me. <laughs> Is that. We'll get Skybet to enhance the price as ever on that. Hopefully they give us a nice little boost given the nature of that. Head over to sportlife.com forward slash football. Midday on Friday, the article, the link will be there to find that price. And if you haven't already, please follow, rate us on Apple Podcasts. Maybe we shouldn't do that until hopefully we've had another winner. <laughs> Maybe wait until rate us until that happens again. Uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. We will be back with victorious, holy <laughs> glory next week. <laughs>